In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make beef curry and brown rice simultaneously in the instant pot. So it's going to be a pot and pot cooking using instant pot. Pot and pot cooking, uh, that's yet another great way uh, which make our cooking so much easier. So in pot and pot cooking, you can cook two dishes simultaneously. So the key factor when you do pot and pot cooking that you need to uh, remember is that the two dishes should have the same cooking time. So you cannot cook all dishes uh, in a pot and pot uh, method. Uh, for instance, here I'm going to cook beef curry. So brown rice is perfect for doing pot and pot cooking because beef curry, I'm using stewing beef. It will take around 25 minutes in the instant pot because I need fork tender beef. So brown rice also takes around 25 minutes to cook. So I can pair beef, beef and brown rice. Uh, another example will be uh, shrimp curry. If I'm cooking shrimp curry, um, I will go with like six to seven minutes for cooking shrimp. For that, basmati rice will be perfect. So you can pair that. So I do have a video of uh, making shrimp curry and uh, basmati rice in pot and pot method. So do check it out. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make an easy beef curry and brown rice that's made in pot and pot method in the instant pot. So are you guys ready? So let's get started. I have taken one pound or half kilo of uh, stewing beef. So I've cut the beef into cubes. Uh, so now I'm going to add all the spices. Uh, I'm using Indian spices. So I have all the spices ready here. I'm going to add around one teaspoon of chili powder so this is the regular chili powder if you want less heat you can add kashmiri chili powder so next uh, turmeric powder around one eight teaspoon so you don't even need a quarter teaspoon next coriander powder so coriander powder you have to add around two teaspoons cumin I'm also going to add some ground cumin that's half teaspoon ground cumin so some people they don't like a ground cumin in their curries so you can skip that but ground cumin definitely gives that smoky flavor which I really enjoy and next uh, three quarter teaspoon of garam masala so this is my homemade garam masala that has uh, cardamom cloves cinnamon so i have ground um, whole cardamom whole cloves and cinnamon into a coarse powder it's very hard to make into a fine and i make small batches so that i can retain the flavor and aroma and store it in an airtight container okay so next our key ingredient salt so i'm going to add one teaspoon of salt so give it a good mix so that all the spices will be evenly coated on the beef cubes. So keep aside the marinated beef. Um, just keep it aside for like 5 to 10 minutes. So in the meantime, you can prepare other um, ingredients like you can go and slice the onions, tomatoes and all the other ingredients for making beef curry. So keep it aside. So here is the instant pot. So turn on the instant pot. So I'm going to turn on the saute mode here. So click start. So this is an ultra instant pot model. So I have to click start here. After four minutes of preheating, you will see the hot sign being displayed uh, so that's when we should add the oil so instant pot is ready here so let's go ahead and add the oil I'm adding one tablespoon of coconut oil you can add um, olive oil or vegetable oil or canola oil so to the oil add a few dried bay leaves Saute for a few seconds. Now it's time to add the chopped onions. So I've taken two chopped red onions. So 
you don't have red onions, add yellow onion. Season with half teaspoon of salt. To the onions, add grated ginger. So here's a one inch ginger slice. So I'm going to grate it. And one clove of garlic. Yeah, I like to grate the ginger and garlic instead of adding the chopped ginger garlic but it's up to you if you want to add chopped add that okay combine well and I like to add curry leaves to my beef curry but if you don't have curry leaves totally uh, optional so you can skip adding curry leaves if you don't have it all right so let it cook for like three minutes till onions start to turn light golden all right so the onions have turned uh, translucent so I'm going to add two tomatoes chopped Let cook for one minute. Now add the marinated beef. So give it a good mix. So since we have added all the spices to the beef, we don't have to add any spices right now. So these are the ingredients for making beef curry. So chopped cilantro, I will add that after the pressure cooking has done. So since uh, we are doing pot in pot cooking here, and um, on the top I will be placing brown rice. So I need to place a trivet on top of this. So this was the trivet that came with instant pot. This one. So if you have this trivet, you need to place it like this. But I have another trivet that I bought from another store. Um, so this is more like a raised trivet. I like this one better. So I'm going to place this one here. here. And make sure the trivet is washed really well since we are placing it um, into the beef, right? For making brown rice, I have one and a half cups of brown rice that's been rinsed well under running water and to this I'm going to add one and three quarter cups of water. So in instant pot usually it will be one is to one ratio water and rice. So if you're taking one and a half cups you should be adding one and a half cups rice. But if you want soft rice you should add a um, quarter cup more of water. So the one is to one ratio is for making crisp uh, rice. So let's season with some salt, like quarter teaspoon. So give it a mix. So on top of the trivet, I'm going to place the bowl with the rice and water. So you need to take a small bowl that will fit well in the instant pot or the stainless steel pot. Okay, since I'm using instant pot ultra model, I don't have to turn the knob to venting or sealing, but always before cooking, uh, make sure this is the whistle. Uh, it's um, placed well, so just give it a good push down so it's um, secured well in its place. All right, so now uh, cancel the saute mode. So we are going to pressure cook. So I'm going to select the pressure cook mode. And since we are cooking beef and brown rice together, uh, select the time to 25 minutes. So that way this beef will be fork tender and brown rice will be perfectly cooked. Um, pressure at high pressure and click start 
that's it now you can walk away so after 25 minutes you will um, hear the beep and we can do a quick pressure release perfect so now it's time for us to relax all right so the pressure cooking has completed so it's been pressure cooking for 25 minutes so now I'm going to do a quick pressure release so turn on the exhaust and click on the quick pressure release knob this is the one now let's open the lid the pressure has released completely Steam. All right, so so that's the perfectly cooked brown rice um, on top, and you will have the perfectly cooked beef curry at the bottom. So let's uh, take the rice ball out of the instant pot. So this is very hot. So use a kitchen towel and take it out of the instant pot In here so next we are going to take that truvet out so we did not add any water while pressure cooking this beef curry but after cooking look at the amount of liquid in this curry so since um, no steam is being released in the instant pot you don't have to add any water So now is the time to add chopped cilantro. So give it a mix. So the instant pot is still hot. So that will help the cilantro to cook a bit. If you find the gravy to be thin, and if you want to thicken the gravy, you can um, put into saute mode and let it cook for like three to four minutes. And then uh, the gravy will thicken. So here is the perfectly cooked brown rice and look at the texture and the rice has turned soft exactly the way I want. Um, so I have added quarter cup more water so that's why the rice is very soft. So for one and a half cups of brown rice I've added one and three quarter cups of water. So quarter cup more which will make the rice very soft. Here is the perfectly cooked brown rice and beef curry made in the instant pot using pot in pot technique. So using this technique we can cook two dishes simultaneously. So it has taken 25 minutes for us to cook brown rice and beef curry and it has turned out perfect. So this is what I call effortless cooking and it cannot get any more easier. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and do give this uh, recipe a try and let me know your feedback. I'll be back with more Instant Pot cooking videos. Until then, happy cooking and bye.